Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 21st, 2020. Well, my goodness, it's Tuesday. I hope everyone's having a great day, great morning. We had a wonderful three-day weekend. Hopefully, you all had a wonderful three-day weekend as well. I, I, Boy, I tell you what, I got a lot done um, over the three-day weekend and feels real good coming back here this morning. Now, one thing that doesn't feel quite so good is we um, have a little downturn starting to show up here in the market, but it's very modest and we are certainly in a very bullish trend overall in the market. So let's take a look and let's see what's going on here this morning. As you can see, our trend continues to remain very, very strong. As a matter of fact, we have some good support levels um, that have shown up in the chart after that break. Just an incredibly bullish move um, last week in the market. Now, this morning, we're looking at just a slightly lower open um, this morning. And I don't know what happened here, but uh, to... Well, that's not true. I do know what happened here. Uh, <laughs> to create that little bit of a sell-off, but um, there's probably several factors going on here. First, um, last night in, in Hong Kong, there was a downgrade. Uh, Moody's downgraded um, Hong Kong to, um, because of their you know, kind of uh, protester crisis and things going on over there. It's definitely harmed the economy. And so there's been a downgrade by Moody's in Hong Kong that kind of set the ball rolling last night with uh, pressure kind of across the Asian markets last night with um, also concerns about this um, you know deadly and very serious virus outbreak in China um, so a lot of eyes kind of uh, shifted over there toward uh, those Asian markets last night um, Hong Kong dropped over 800 points last night on that Moody downgrade and of course there's just that that pressure on China with uh, potential tourism and things being harmed by um, this virus outbreak that seems to be uh, now an airborne spread uh, virus that's very serious and very deadly um, that has also tempered the mood of European markets this morning European markets are trading all modestly lower this morning and uh, even though our futures were um, earlier um, in the futures trading overnight session were higher um, they have all turned modestly bearish this morning but nothing here very damaging we're looking right now 40 some points down maybe be in the Dow is all we're looking at and considering the uh, the bullishness of this chart not a whole lot here to worry about overall let's take a look at the spy 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 also just incredibly strong last week as a matter of fact I just want to say that I, I truly believe that we have extended this um, run out to an extreme and I am concerned about that. One of the things I continue to echo in here is to be very, very careful not to overtrade this market, not to get too cranked up about things and um, overtrade because boy it would only take one little stumble from these companies and earnings where we're we've priced these stocks past perfection and if there is a single stumble by some of these big tech firms or something like that we could see the market suffer pretty quickly um, and unfortunately a lot of these earnings reports occur after the bell so you don't have a chance to do anything with them you'll just wake up tomorrow to a potentially reversing market so be really careful make sure you plan your trades very very carefully in this environment but one thing I still have to continue to echo is don't get too worked up uh, fear wise because right now the trends are still very 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 bullish one thing I would like to point out though is if we just pulled back if we pulled back from our close on Friday and just pulled back to maybe this little level of price support in here 
Um, that's a pretty substantial um, loss in the market. You know, we're we're looking at some big downside. You know, let's go to the um, the Dow itself. If we were to just pull back from here and just pull back to our trend and this support level, um, 500 points down. So keep that in mind when you're trading, you're going to want to be really, really careful not to be over trading in case that pullback does happen to occur at, uh, and you're just not prepared um, over trading and, and you get stopped out on a heavy pullback day. And that could certainly that is certainly a possibility during um, earning season. So watch that close and, and just plan your trades carefully. Let's take a look at the queues. The queues uh, incredibly strong here in this market. You can see we've actually increased the trajectory of this trend, uh, moving it more uh, steeply and not parabolic yet but certainly looking pretty steep here in um, its rise so let's watch that pretty closely we're looking at a little bit of a gap down this morning here on the queues just a little bit of a pullback nothing major yet and our trends are still holding up but once again just make sure that you're planning your trades very very carefully that you're not over trading this market let's take a look at iwm and iwm what a great thing it was to see iwm this week uh excuse me last week finally breaking through some resistance here in the chart i need to adjust this line a little bit higher as you can see we we ran up there hit that resistance popped through and now we pulled back here on friday we're looking just a little tiny bit lower this morning um, as that resistance challenges um, IWM there. But let's keep in mind IWM is also in a very nice strong trend so it could take, well, we'd have to pull all the way back into here before we even test support. So no big worries there in IWM either. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX on Friday just continuing to drift along here down on these lows. As you can see that price support down in here, um, we have had no threat whatsoever to run up here and challenge this downtrend, but we continue to maybe tighten up this wedge if we're not dropping through this level of support yet either. So we're kind of hanging in here, testing around these areas. I would suspect fear, there might be just a little teeny bump up of fear this morning. Watch this in here if we wind around in this area and continue to tighten up that wedge that could be a problem now if we break down through this support remember we have more support down here these are basically um, all-time lows here in um, in the VIX and so if we get down in here um, we'll have an extreme condition of complacency so let's watch that right now I think we do have some complacency going on in the market and we should be cautiously watching that price action carefully being careful not to trace chase trades planning your trades very very carefully making sure you understand the risk in those trades and always have an exit plan before you enter the trade because a market like this can shift and shift quite quickly let's take a look at t2122 t2122 is the four week new high new low ratio and you can see last week we popped up into that bearish reversal zone and ended up getting just a little bit of pullback um, on Friday that pullback was a result of just a uh, several of the key stocks the big tax and things like that continued to push higher but overall markets were a little bit soft or weak and so we had that little bit of a pullback in t21 22 some of those key stocks so the breadth of the market wasn't all that great on friday and as you can see pushing up there into that bearish reversal zone kind of leaves us with the question whether or not we're going to hold up here and we can by the way we can bounce right back up in here we can hold in this area for a while um, we've done that before here's a here's an example right in here where we've held up in here and held up in here and held up in here but just keep in mind that we have a pretty good sized open door to the downside if we get some kind of a stumble in earnings report any kind of bearishness starting to show up we could uh, see that 
a fairly strong sell-off into the downside. Now, I don't want to give you the impression that I am expecting an impending drop or anything like that. I, I am not saying that. I'm just saying that there is reason to be very watchful for that potential and to plan your trading uh, quite carefully. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today because our economic calendar um, definitely has a few things that um, could move us around this week but really nothing at all today I apologize I picked up another window there there we go and you can see nothing here at all on today's calendar and we actually have a very light week you can see we've got existing home sales jobless claims petroleum status that natural gas report pmi um, on friday but other than that boy light week um, on that economic calendar but not a light week on the earnings calendar today we have about 49 companies reporting and those are going Going to just that is just going to continue to increase uh, Wednesday right now the economic calendar or earnings calendar is showing 80 companies reporting hundred on Thursday and then a drop back off on Friday of only 30 companies but a lot of big names are going to reporting be reporting this week so expect some volatility expect um, you know anything is possible anytime there's a report after the bell remember that after the bell report can create large gaps ups or large gap downs in the market so make sure you plan your trading very carefully some of the trades some of the things that we're gonna have to watch this afternoon um, uh, Netflix reports after the bell today we'll want to watch that pretty closely that's one of the first big techs reporting um, in this earning season we'll have to watch that closely and how they do in comparison to well with all of the new challenges that they have out there with all the new streaming services that have come into play how netflix has performed um, this quarter will be kind of interesting so let's watch that pretty closely that's one of our first techs and it just really kicks off a massive number of big tech earnings coming over the next couple of weeks so just Plan your trading very carefully. Also today we have COF. COF reporting today. Don't see a report in there yet. Um, I don't see a big move. CMA is reporting today. Whoops. CMA is reporting today. Don't see a report. That's reported just yet. Halliburton. Halliburton's reporting this morning. Looks like it's gapping up just slightly. So we've got a nice little uh, pop in that um, oil sector. Let's take a look. IBM will be reporting today. Let's keep an eye on that chart. That's been testing some resistance here in the chart, broken this downtrend. It'll be interesting to see how that reports today. Um, NAV, NAV reporting today. No report there just yet. Pets, for those uh, uh, pet owners out there, looks like this might be moving just a maybe gapping just a tiny little bit lower we'll have to wait and see I'm not sure that is the report or not um, TAL TAL obviously missed on their earnings report gapping substantially lower UAL reporting today looks like it is moving just slightly lower here this morning ZION is another another one of those kind of key um, or notable um, reports and I don't see that that is reported yet this morning so just a few things for you to keep an eye on and watch um, as those earnings continue to roll out and this is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger as we go on so be very very careful around these earnings reports one of the things that's going to be really really important is when you look at any stock trade you know you take a look at Apple and think oh my gosh this trend is beautiful I want to buy this make sure you're checking that earnings report with this reporting um, uh, next week you're gonna want to be on your toes for those big reports watch out for those a lot of those coming um, as a matter of fact we'll see a lot of those as we move along here so with that everyone hey if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could do me a favor if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also 
also click that uh, bell icon when it pops up so that you can make sure and be notified every time I post one of these videos. Hopefully you notice in these videos that what I try to do is look at the technicals. Think about the things that may affect the market for today. I try to remove all the emotion. I shut off all of the news and I just try to pay attention to what the markets are telling me uh, for this morning so that I can do a better job of preparing for my day. If you find that to be helpful, if you could please do me a favor as well, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, helps the algorithms continue to show these videos to more folks and we continue to grow the channel, reaching more and more people with this kind of information. Thank you to everyone who does that. I gotta be honest, sometimes your comments are truly humbling. Um, I, I really, really appreciate it, everyone. Thank you very, very much that takes the time to do that. So with that, um, let's take a look at some stocks that are setting up, some stocks that you might be interested in putting on a watch list. Remember, any of the stocks that I show you in these videos are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. They are met merely as a, um, as a watch list stock, part of the education. If you see something in there that works for you and it fits you personally, then by all means, um, make that trade your own. But these are not recommendations to buy or sell. Let's take a look at ConocoPhillips. Now ConocoPhillips reports on 2.4 and it's been moving up in this nice little trend. And this pullback in here and this nice tight consolidation that's been forming right in here. We pulled back nice little tight consolidation we're dancing around in this area i don't exactly know what it's waiting for but what we're dealing with is this price resistance in the chart if conoco phillips can find some energy and pop up in there we could have a nice move so keep an eye on that conoco um, has some potential and i'm kind of keeping an eye on that i'm also watching this chart in 3m now 3m reports on the 28th so that's going to make this kind of a problem for us. But 3M has been just really underloved for a long time in this downtrend um, in this chart, as you can see. Now, if I drew a drop downtrend just a little bit differently and threw that big pop right there, uh, made that more of an outlier, you can see breaking that downtrend and moving up and we're testing this price resistance level in the chart. So as we, I want to watch this one pretty closely. We're consolidating it. In a nice tight range here um, right underneath that resistance and as we move over toward this trend and earnings coming up I want to watch that for that potential of popping on through so keep that one um, on your chart one to keep an eye on AMCX AMCX is another kind of pattern that we talk about quite a bit it's called a round of bottom breakout pattern that's where a stock breaks down sharply well underneath its 50-day moving average it has its 200-day moving average above and what we look for is that stock breaking back above that 50 holding it as support and then this turns into that bullish trade and we look for a reversion to the mean uh, trying to make it about halfway back um, in the trade so coming back up here around this move um, kind of recovers a great big portion of that sell-off and up there around that 200 day moving average so as you can see this is a very beautiful chart there was my alert on that chart and this beautiful trend moving on up amcx one for your list how about zayo zayo i've mentioned this one a couple of times moving up in this nice little trend and as you can see it was consolidating in this tight range um, Thursday and Friday moved on through that alert area. Still may have a little bit of rest or consolidation to consider to move back toward this trend. But Z-A-Y-O looking very, very good overall. Take a look at LW. LW continues to set up here. Moved up in this nice trend. Popped big here on an earnings report. And now consolidating. What I like about this chart is really no one wants to sell this position. They're all holding. So as we move closer and closer and closer to this trend, we want to watch for that opportunity that this may move on through and move on up. So keep an eye on on LW. I still really like AMD here. It moved up Thursday and Friday last week, a little bit ahead of its trend, but what a beautiful move. And by the way, I'm gonna to go to a weekly chart and show you
argue that this is a breakout of the 2000, uh, the 1999-2000 tech bubble high um, in uh, the NASDAQ. And we have finally broken, after all of these years, broken that resistance high here in AMD. And you can see AMD looking very, very strong here. Any, any rest or pullback in here could set up an opportunity for a trade. Keep an eye on that chart. How about Abercrombie? Now, Abercrombie has been dealing with this resistance for a while, and we continue to bounce up here and fail at that resistance. What I'm watching in this chart, as you can see, we have these rising lows. So what we're building here is this wedge pattern in this chart as we continue to bounce around. Now, we tried to break out, couldn't quite hold it. Friday saw some selling coming in here on that but as long as we can hold this price level of support in here if that bounces back up off of there we could have a nice upside trade however if this were to fail if this fails back below that trend i would then watch for that bounce back up for that opportunity for a short trade so watch that chart this could go either direction a and f looking well it could go either way we'll have to watch it close keeping a close eye on ostk OSTK very nice looking chart as you can see that has been uh, breaking that rounded bottom breakout pattern here we made a nice trade on this last week and now we're getting this nice little resting pullback in here I'm gonna be watching for that next opportunity if it shows up here to pop up off of there and maybe start moving on up breaking some resistance in the chart so keep an eye on OSTK if that can get moving last but not least i'm going to throw up um, one that i've kind of done a little speculation on here but it has a nice pattern this is peloton peloton has had a little controversy here recently um, and and this is a relatively new issue which i normally don't trade but this is one of those stocks that could be kind of seasonal where folks uh, worried about their summer bodies are out there buying those peloton bikes and treadmills and things like that and as you can see we started this little um, rally here so we had a low higher low we broke through that resistance held it as support and buyer stepped in there so i went ahead and picked up a little bit now i wouldn't be at all surprised if this rests or pulls back in here but it is entirely possible that could also perk on up and move on higher it doesn't report until 2 4 so it all depends on how the market performs if we can get enough energy in the market whether or not that will take off or not planning just a short quick trade in that position at the moment so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a great day in your training thanks for um, watching and if this is uh, again the first time you've seen these videos make sure and click that subscribe button um, and come on back and watch some more of these videos there's um, over 700 videos on the channel now so take your time and watch some of that information i want to wish you all a great day and great profits take care of yourselves and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one.